Good morning. Today I'm going to be working on my 1984 AMC Eagle. Uh, I'm just going to put the carburetor back on it. Uh, it. It has a Motocraft 2150 on it currently. The previous owner made my life easy and deleted all the Carter BBD stuff, including the ECU. So he made the car extremely simple to just keep going. I've never rebuilt a carburetor before, so I think I did it right. It's a, like I said, it's a Motocraft 2150, so it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Uh, I did go, I did go two thousand smaller on the jets. It was jetted at forty eight thousandths, and the car came from sea level. I'm gonna go to forty six thousandths because I'm currently at. Uh, I think like like 45 or 40 between 4,500 and 4,700 feet right now in northern Utah. So the car was running a tad. I don't know about a tad. It was running rich. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna have to retune it. Um, the carburetor just needed a rebuild. It would just just wasn't poor. Just poor shape you know I had varnish on it and everything leaking it wasn't even bolted all the way down at a base correctly so you know there's vacuum leaks there so we'll see how that goes we'll get it all bolted back on and we'll tune it go from there uh, it's not gonna be an instructional video it's just more of a hey look at me work on my car so here you go I'm just going to have to work with what I have. I don't have much to hold my phone besides this magnetic case sticking to the side of the uh, storage wall. So, I just got to do what you got to do, right? Don't worry, I have the gaskets already on the intake. A little amount of tools because you know I travel for work. But you gotta have tools when you have old cars. Okay. I know you're not supposed to torque those too tight, so it should be good. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to use lock washers on a carburetor, but 
but I did put hardened washes under it so it doesn't tear into the base of the carburetor since it's aluminum. I know I did that because there originally wasn't any uh, lock washers on the carb before. It was just some jam nuts. And when I pulled the carb off, it was loose. You know, creating a vacuum leak at the base. Should be good. I'm just glad this car is easy to work on. And I don't like carburetors, but they are simple. At least the Motorcraft is. Almost just went EFI on it, but I'll wait. I don't even know how old this one is. Um, I looked up that part number and it brought this one up. So, who knows? I don't think I need that much hose. Probably went overkill with the fuel injection hose. I didn't need it for this application, but that's okay. I was looking for a hose clamp and forgot it. Well, I remembered that I had this whole back sitting in the back of the car. Makes my life easy. I don't feel like doing it. Well, no, the auto parts stores are open right now because Utah, everything opens later, is closed on Sunday. Stupid. This damn state.
connect the battery. We'll see what happens. Make sure, got everything. All right. Grab my keys. I think that's it. All right, we'll find out. You might be able to hear that ticking. That's the. Oh. Electronic fuel pump. So it hopefully makes my life easy trying to start this thing up. Right, let's see what happens here. I can tell it runs a lot better just I mean I know it's gonna need some fine-tuning but I can tell it runs a lot better I think I need to choke it longer. Oh, it's opening up though. You know what? Let's try this. Maybe I gotta mess with that a little more.
Holy crap. Do I open the idle more on this? Maybe I just keep messing with the idle mixture, I don't know.
Well, I got the car idling. It idles a lot better. I'm gonna do some more fine tuning on it. Um, but I, I could tell just it runs a lot better. I gotta get a timing light on it. See what the RPM is at. But I could, it's even, according to the, hook up the actual vacuum gauge, but that's reading a lot better. The car just idles so much. It's an inline six, it's supposed to be extremely smooth. And it just, I could tell, it just. So much better. Wow. It doesn't, it used to have like a little shake at idle, but I, I gotta drive it now, but all right. But first successful, well, I'm gonna call it a successful carb rebuild. So it wasn't hard, but it just never done it.